Hello. I guess you don't take the card under the tenor, right?
what he wants. Nice to see you too. I don't know. To check up on you. You came here to check up on me. I'm worried about you. You look tired. Stop, okay? What, what do you really want? I found a part of paranoia starts today. It's hot. I'm serious. We only need one ever short of entering the game. Only one puzzle left to solve. Get out of here. I'm sure you can solve it. No one's ever been as far as you in paranoia. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Do you understand? It's all over, Chloe. Are you listening to me? It all begins today. No, you listen to me. I haven't seen your face in months. And the first thing you want to do is come in here and talk to me about this bullshit. We spent a year, 24-7, sitting in front of our computers, searching for a lead for nothing. You're not interested in the million euro prize anymore? I don't want to go back to that place. It destroyed us. You know, that's not what destroyed us. Just think of what the two of us could do with a million euros. The two of us? I read an article in the paper about two black swans that disappeared from the zoo in Manchester. Two black swans. That's the emblem of paranoia. That's just a coincidence. Except that the zoo never had any black swans. I checked it out. That's weird. I wrote to the zoo. I got a message back. 24, be careful. 24, be careful. That must be a code. Okay, two numbers, two words. Could I the zip code? So let's just assume A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3, D equals 4. Then you get 24. Equals BD. Let it be careful. The first letter of each word, so B and C, which is 23. So you get BD 23. There you go, the homepage of Skipton City. Zip code BD 23. Preservation of our ecosystem, protection of the black swan. This is it. A year on the road brings us back to the same place as always. We'll be there tonight until midnight. What does it mean? A year on the road. Type in zero one into the first box. Brings us back to the same place as always. Try the infinity symbol. We'll be there tonight until midnight. Type today's date, 0811. It's not working. Okay, go back. You and the loads. 01 again. Let's try 00 instead of the infinity. 08. You got it! The Raven Skipton! You're a genius! Mm -hmm. Let's find it.
Please, may I ask you something? Yeah. You're not going to like what I'm about to tell you. But, um, I'm going to go for a ride with Chloe tonight, if that's okay. I know what you're thinking, that, that she's hurt me too much and... Please, can you just forgive me for still being in love with her? Sorry, I'm gonna have to clean my car one of these days. Get put that in the bag if you want. No raid in sight so far. She's still in the game then. More than ever. But if she's here, then it's on the right track. Come on, let's find Paranoia's interest before she does. Can you hear that? What? The music is one name. That's sick now. No, 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 no. It's, it's in the distance. It's, it's bad. Come on. How are we supposed to play against each other? We we'll play against the computer. Do you want to go first? No, thanks. There's a GPS coordinates. Let me check it. Got it.
Dial's paranoia. Looks like it. They're waiting for you. There's cameras everywhere. It's normal they have to monitor the game. Sorry, guys, we started without you. Welcome, anyway. I'm Ray. I'm Maxine. Jablowski. I'm Chloe. So you're back in the game? I haven't seen you online for a while. Welcome to Paranoia, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, we wish to congratulate you. Of the thousands of hopefuls, only you made it all the way here. This competition was created for you. It will push your abilities to the limit. It will exploit your weaknesses and test you like never before. This hospital is your playground. It further much recesses, its darkest corners are yours for the entire duration of the game. You're about to play a gigantic escape game. You'll need to solve puzzles to get out of each room and move on to the next level. Every time you exit a room, you will be given a piece of the puzzle. You've already found the first piece on the table, it seems. Once complete, the puzzle will reveal the combination to the exit of the hospital. You have been divided into teams of two. The first team to exit the hospital will win for million euro prize. Be aware that you will not be allowed to leave the game once it has begun. Finally, does anyone among you want to give up and leave now? This is your last chance. As you can see, you are all isolated to start the game. Now, you must find your teammate to stay in the game. Three, two, 
There's a vent connecting our two rooms. Yeah, I see it. I found a key, but it doesn't open any locks. Does it fit the door? This is not a lock. Does it have a metal plate on it too? No, not even. How am I supposed to open this fucking door? Okay, right. Clearly, I've got it, okay? If you can't open it, then it has to be me. So what I need you to do is throw the key down, is that okay? is this place? Okay, so I'm guessing you have to exit back through this door. And there's a keypad here, so we need to find some sort of code. Do you think I have to put this thing on? Okay, okay, I'll do it. Are you sure? Yeah. Come on, don't you pussy help me and show it. Okay. Okay, now look around. 
Must be a riddle that we have to solve. Oh no. Okay, no, 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 no. I don't like this at all, Craig. That's Don't move. We need to get out of it now. What do we do if I can't get you out in time? Don't come. Find the riddle. Hurry! It looks like a puzzle, so I think... Some of the pieces are black on the back, so I'm going to have to make some sort of pattern here. Okay, I'm just gonna try to untie you, okay? No! Finish the swan. Finish the swan, trust me! I can see something. Keep doing it. Are you out of your fucking mind, Chloe? Look at one minute left. Make the fucking swan. I can see numbers. I can see numbers. I need the place to come closer to me to read them. seriously wrong with this place? Chloe! Are you listening to me? Try another room. Maybe we can get into the game from there. Can you hear that? No, it's coming from this way.
Do you know your classical music? No, a little bit. You? No. There's a bad luck here. There's a Swan Lake score on every shelf. So there's three shelves, and that bottom lot's three digits, right? Yeah. Okay, so the first shelf is fourth position. Yeah. The second shelf is seventh position. Seven. And the third shelf is ninth position. It's not working. Wait, 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 wait. There is a score marked 479. Chopin Bards in G minor. How are they trying to kill us here or what? Harry. Let's look for an Irish composer. Why Irish? Because Ireland's missing from that. Okay. Um, Albert Kettleby. English. Guillermo Drizzle. Scottish. Oh my god. Well, there's a book here. Uh, the Perlon Letter. Uh, Edgar Allan Poe. He's Irish, right? No, he's American. Okay, quick, quick. We need to find an exit now. We need to go. Okay, this one, this one, this one. Uh, Brief Delirium. You know this composer? No. Wait, no, no, no. Uh, Delirium. Delirium is an anagram for Ireland. And Brief? What is Brief? Double highlight. So, oh, it's in, it's in the score. Okay, okay, let me check the pages. Okay, page four is six briefs. Six. Page seven is... Three briefs. Three. And page nine is eight briefs. Six, three, eight. It's working, it's working. What's going to take us eight to go? Come down, look at us. How can I become the room's on fire? Then solve the riddle. What riddle, Chloe? I don't even know if he's part of it. Maybe we're stuck in here. I got it, I got it. El Renacimiento de la Musica Clásica Irlandesa. How is your Spanish? Pianist? Where does he go? Lucas. My Spanish is terrible. Yours? Same. What would we do then? I don't know. You the fucking worst kid. You find it. You get us out of here. And the following letter. What? The following letter. How did you find out where to finish the piano piece? Well, as, as Poe said in the Pologne the letter, you know, the best place to hide the treasure is the most conspicuous place because people won't think to search there. It's too obvious, you know, so they're looking for more intricate leads. So islands and all the other places are just false leads. And the most conspicuous thing was the piano. Of course. What do the papers say? We are equal in the face of it. The law. Don't tell me this is what I think it is. The keypad. The keypad is more complicated this time. Digits from 0 to 9 and letters from A to F.
seems like a normal day. I mean, I think all the cars are here. That's funny. Did you know that our memory skills improve when we understand that every mistake we make results in punishment? Like when your parents spanked you when you were wrong, you are about to experience it. We will measure the extent to which punishment can affect memory. I will give you a series of 11 word pairs. A noun, followed by an adjective. Then I will give you the adjective, and you will tell me the noun it refers to. We will repeat the process 10 times in total. Every mistake will be punished. A minimum of five correct answers will set you free. What if I don't give five correct answers? Mind. Sick. Corpse. Cold. Cross. Black. Dungeon, dark, mother, mystery, circle, colored, treasure, buried, soul, 
flying, presence, absent, wind, violent, murderer, innocent. Dark. Correct. Next word, flying. Mystery. I repeat, mystery. Wrong. Next word, covered. Correct. Next word. Violent. Wrong. It seems like you have a materialistic streak. Well, I have some good news. The shocks will keep getting stronger. Next word. Cold. Wrong. Next word, sick. Take your time to make sure you give me the correct answer. Concentrate. Your voice sounds familiar. Bomb. You only have three questions left. This is your last chance. As you've already given five incorrect answers, you have no room for error now. Next word, murderer. Finish him off.
direction. I've never said yes in this moment. You wouldn't have found the way. You wouldn't be locked up in a fucking mud house. Wait. Why didn't you tell me that you spent time in a psychiatric hospital? I didn't want you to think I was crazy. Someone would hang crosses on my door every day for months, every single day. I never found out who he was. And then got to me. And I fell into depression and ended up in a mental hospital. When I came out, the crosses reappeared. I moved out. Things have been pretty hectic for me since we broke up, you know? Since you broke up, you mean? You forced me to break up. How come you never told me about how your mother died? I was 16 and then um, she was killed by burglars. Yeah, I was at a party and I got so drunk that I came home and I passed out and I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear them coming in. I didn't hear them killing my mother. Nothing. And she must have cried for help, you know. She must have thought I was going to come around the corner and I was going to save her. I just feel so guilty. And they, they were searching for something in the basement. But I, don't, I don't know what it was, but it must have been something important, you know, to her. Or, but I never went to the basement. I always wanted to go down into the basement, you know. I never did, so I just... I thought I was betraying her. Lucas. 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 She's a patient today. It's written on her file. Dangerous patient. She looks like 16 or 17 then. Must have been ages ago. Look what's written. Keep away from sharp objects. Pens, keys, screwdriver. Maxine had a screwdriver stuck in her throat, remember? She was probably committed here when she was a teenager for other issues. But now she wants revenge from all the years she was locked up. And she wants to take out innocent gamers. No, I don't believe that. I'm serious, Lucas. I'm sure it's her. Okay, look, we, we need to get one more piece and then we've completed the puzzle. Come on, let's take this. Let's go.
ascend into heaven. You will now ascend into heaven. Ascend into heaven. You will now ascend into heaven. I can't believe he was right there in front of us the whole time. I don't think that's coming towards us. I think that's going away. Jaborski! Is Naomi not with you? No, she disappeared a while ago. Did you guys see what happened to Maxine? Yeah. And I'm very guilty. What? When was the last time you saw Naomi? She opened the door after we saw the radio and walked out. And I went out after her, she was gone. Was it before or after what happened to Maxine? Before. I wasn't with her anymore when I found Maxine's body. Did you know Naomi before you came here? Why all these questions? Because she was a patient here ten years ago. You're kidding me? No. What's that all about? It's about a psycho killing a scapegoat with a screwdriver. Oh, hang on, maybe she's dead too by now, you know? That's just how the game goes. The game. This isn't about game anymore, do you not understand? This is about a fucking killer chasing us down hallways. The game is still on, and we are opponents. Th that doesn't make sense, Jabowski. We're stronger as a team, surely? Yeah, you will now ascend into heaven. What does that mean? I don't know. Maybe the next level is taking us outside in the daylight. Maybe that's clever, but it's just it's too religious. Religious? A chapel. Maybe there is a chapel in the hospital. Yeah, I, I still don't understand why that's all right for after I teach the nurse. Because if they're not testing my intelligence, then I... What are they testing? Their ability to kill. Look at that painting. It looks like the one in your living room. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It looks like my mother's favorite. It's weird. How come a painting painted by a patient in a mental hospital ended up in your house? I have no idea. We just want to keep going through, okay? That's all. We're not going to make any sudden movements. We just want to keep going. That's it. Why the bars? I'm not meant to hurt you, I promise. Why are you carrying bars then? Because we need to know that you don't want to hurt us either. Okay? Why is everyone scared of me? It's always been like that since I was little. Know me. You know that somebody's been killed in the game, right? I know. I saw the bodies too. Where were you when the murders happened? I don't know. Okay, Naomi. I need you to take that out of your pocket now. Slowly, 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 and just put this on the floor. 
very slowly, very slowly. So what good did you my cooking? Why would you do that, Naomi? Hey, don't. I always knew you were a weirdo, but that... Don't, hey. So you've been playing paranoia from the hospital room all the time? Stay away from me! You two! Yeah, hold down. You fucking buckle! You're trying to make me think I'm fucking crazy. I'm not. You're trying to use my frailty to make me believe I did it without even being aware of it. Um, no. But it won't work. I know what I did and didn't do. Okay. So, how did I kill them? Hmm? The sleep? You motherfuckers. You use the word crazy, but you don't have a clue what it means. They've been messing with my head since I was a teenager. They want me to think I'm fucking crazy. But I'm so tired of all this shit. I'm so tired of you trying to put your vision of reality on me. Just, just leave me alone, okay? Just, just leave me I'm not like all of them, okay? I'm not like all of them, I promise. <laughs> Sit down, okay? You can trust me, okay? Chloe, drop the bar. Okay, you can trust me, Chloe. Put the bar down. Craig, drop it, okay? What's the point of living if you can't trust what you see? <laughs> Why did you do that? What did I do what? Well, I had the situation under control and it made her panic. Are you serious? She was a psychopath. You thought she would put the screwdriver down just because you asked her to? She was going to put it down. She's so naive. Three pints of dust right there. You smart asses, it's a triangle. It's the Trinity. Thirty-three are dog eared. Always the number three. The sacrifice of one's own. <laughs>
fucking assholes! Do to me. Hey, why are you coming in the bus? Hey? I tried to save him. He was still breathing when I got here.
Why did you disappear? Did I manage to escape? Okay, come on. Let's go, okay? Let's go. It's just the two of us now. We're out of here, Clay, haven't we? Because there's still a killer on the loose, isn't there? No surprise, what we are is. Clay, isn't there? Clay. Terror cards often hide biblical symbols. Well, this one's kind of biblical. Now, this one has a bit of a biblical reference. There's seven branches for hidden in the space. Then of the seven rungs of Jacob's ladder. Okay. Like the um, seven degrees of initiation, you know. You know, connected man from earth to heaven or hell. Do you see Jacob anywhere? That's Jacob. You see what's waiting for us at the top. Forgive me. 
Can you stay with me? So nice. I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, 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 stay, stay with me. No, you go. Now you're ready to face life. I love you, sweetheart. Go, 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 you fucking coward. How are we waiting for? <laughs> 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 your truck. She's been avoiding you for years now. Since she dumped you, actually. <laughs> you harassed her so much. She left you because you were so paranoid and frightened. Hey! It's what you really want, is it? It's what you really want. To forget about the monster and go on as before. To forget your cousin. Lucas? Back off. Lucas. I said, back off. Huh? Because you're trying to drive me crazy, aren't you? That's what you're doing. Or at least you're trying to make me think that I'm crazy. You tried to make me use my frailty to believe I did something that I wasn't even aware of. I know what I did and didn't do. I can't do it. 
Keep trying, sweetheart. Don't give up. It's too difficult. You will make it. You're the best. You'll always be the best. Now concentrate. I love you, Mom. I love you too, but you'll have to do much better. So you seen a man with an orange uniform? What happened to your hand? Oh, it's an injury from when I was a child. All right, just wait a minute. Uh... take you home. <laughs> but don't leave town. I still have got some questions for you.
thing it didn't do. So, uh, how did I kill my mother? I sleep. Back off. Waiting for this moment to come. Now you're ready to face life. Thank you. 